Okay, so it's a new day. Um, it's Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna go and see my mother and we're gonna travel down to see my mum. Um, Got to take all my meds. So it may seem normal right now because uh, I've just woken up, but in a bit I won't be that normal after taking my medication. Um, pain level today is probably a... Uh, probably say about an eight or a nine out of 10. Um, the sleep, I'm not sleeping well, obviously. There's probably obvious reasons why I'm not sleeping well. Um, and yeah, I need to eat healthily, drink healthily. Uh, I've been on this sushi hype actually at the moment. Uh, I love sushi, sushi is amazing. Um, probably not, well it's healthy, it's healthy. Sushi's healthy and on top of that, uh, I've been drinking shed loads of juice, like fresh juice. I've probably drank about three bottles a day, like a big liter, you know, like proper fresh juice stuff. Uh, drinking like probably two or three of those a day. So I'm, I'm trying to be healthy and only drink fresh juice and stuff. Um, get as much vitamins and minerals and shizzle in me. Uh, and try and battle this the best I can um, to to make it better for me, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna take my meds. I can't show this on the camera, unfortunately, because I've been told I'm not allowed to. Um, but I'll catch you in a bit. We'll be like in the car or something, or down to Western, or we'll say hello to my mum. So I know you all love seeing my mother. Uh, and it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so we'll do a nice video with her tomorrow as well. So yeah, thank you. So, a bit, ooh, I, ooh, this talking malarkey is really quite hard. So I'm in the car, Claire's new car, it's actually really nice. Uh, and on my way to go to my mum's, so just stopped for a coffee and yeah, let's go see my mummy. Uh, I'm not feeling particularly well, but it makes for an interesting vlog because I don't know what I'm saying or talking about. So yeah, let's have a fun day if we can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nuts. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, not crazy. I'm not crazy. Don't say I am. I'm not crazy. Much? Yeah, <laughs> much. <laughs> I really want to be funny and like silly and stuff, but uh, my body won't let me. It's really hard. Uh, here's a joke. Uh, what does the cheese say when it looks in the mirror? Hello, me. <laughs> okay, there we go. We did a joke for you again. And hopefully that was less long-winded than my dad's joke. So, yeah. Okay, let's, let's get to my mum's and see my mother. Finally made it to the mother's. And look, she's in the background trying to tidy up. I am. Uh, there she is. Look, mum, say hello with all the mess in your house. Hi, with all the mess in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be that, can ya? Uh, I'm, at, I'm at my mum's and everything and... It, it's stressing me out, everything's stressing me out and... I feel sick and I feel unwell and I... just feel really unwell. It's one of those weird situations where you don't know what to do with yourself. I'm not someone who stops very often, but I know that I need to sleep. And I am genuinely like, my body is just exhausted. I'm, I'm, I am exhausted and I don't do much. <laughs> uh, I feel exhausted, it's crazy. Um, a lot of questions have uh, come to light, like of people, <clears throat> like if they uh, find out I have got this osteosarcoma in my leg and it's confirmed, uh, and they say they want to amputate, what am I going to do, or would I do it? Of course I'd do it. I don't care about my leg. Chop that off. Uh, I want to survive. I want to get through this. I want to survive this. Um, plus I can get a 3D printer and print a leg surely and be like a bionic man or something. 
Um, I think the major thing now is I'm, I'm sick and it's uh, it's taking its toll. <clears throat> um, very much taking its toll. But I want to get past this like sick feeling sorry for myself kind of phase. I'm not someone who usually really feels sick or unwell. Um, not to this level anyway. So it's a bit harder than I thought it would be and a little bit more complex than I thought it would all be. Like I said yesterday, I started this vlog thinking that it was something quite minor and now it's turned out to see something huge, major and life changing. I'm still determined though, still determined to beat it, still determined to enjoy myself, have fun, get past all this stuff and in answer to everyone else as well, yes we are in correspondence with the MD, Anderson and Mayo, so we, we've submitted everything we need to for them. Um, so I'm just waiting for an email or uh, correspondence back from people. But, yeah, I didn't expect it to be this rapid, the decline into like everything and everything's stressing me out I'm getting angry at everyone I feel like I can't be myself I feel like I'm trapped inside my own body I feel like I can't be who I want to be or succeed at the things I want to succeed at and I feel like I can't comprehend a lot of things I'm becoming like really self-aware, self-conscious and paranoid, like becoming paranoid of stuff. I never get paranoid. It's like, oh, it's a nightmare. I just want to get help now and get through it. And as silly as it sounds, I want these damn surgeries done. I want therapy done. I want... It's like I keep saying, oh, give me a scalpel, I'll do it myself. I just I just don't want it in me anymore. I don't want to have to go through this anymore. I don't want to feel this pain anymore. Um, I don't know. It's not a case of I want to be dead, like to end it all. I want to be alive, I want to enjoy myself, and I want to have experiences, meet new people, and do fun stuff but genuinely scared now scared that I won't get to do things and worried hmm. I want my vlog to be fun and uplifting what the hell is going on with me this is like this is too real life, this is too much of real life and that wasn't the intention. I, 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 if anyone knows who Eric Andre is and uh, his silliness and his stupid kind of way, that was how I wanted this vlog to be, just me just having a bit of fun and just say that I've got cancer and stuff and it's like I can still be silly and a human and stupid and crack a joke or three or just be silly and it's not happened the way I wanted it to. I'm hoping in the future I'll be able to do fun stuff like that and hopefully, yeah. I don't know. Someone messaged me earlier and said uh, maybe I should try and get someone famous on my side to help me. Uh, not really into that uh, that whole side of like trying to tag on to something. It's not, um, it's not something I really want to do. And I'm so thankful for all the people who have uh, tagged me in the things to do with Ellen DeGeneres. That's funny. I like that. Thank you. Uh, and everyone tagging each other in stuff for me and things. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so, yeah, please continue to support me. Uh, support my GoFundMe to help me find treatment and to just hopefully find a way forward and help other people. 
and myself and yeah continue to share everything and help me to yeah, just try and find a way through this um because it's getting hard it is getting hard i'm still going to put these videos out every day even if it gets worse even if it gets worse definitely so yeah thank you and I'll see you tomorrow it's Mother's Day so hopefully we'll have some better video and something more fun but for now I'm going to sleep bye